Good morning from Florida here. I'm Chip. Hey, I'm Steve. And this, this is Chip's, Chip's Garage. Garage. Today we're going to talk to you about safety, which Steve, man, is, you know, a lot of people, yeah. I know we do basic videos, right? We're not into the in-depth fixing cars and stuff. Yeah. We really, uh, our videos are about teaching people things that a lot of people don't know nowadays. Sure. Sure. And I know you as a teacher mm -hmm. in your class, um, you see it all the time. Yeah. It amazes me. I don't, I don't think I'm that smart with cars, but uh, compared to a lot of people, I know a lot. Sure. You know, sure. and I'm sure, again, you see that in your classroom, I right? Know. I mean, just by looking at your drag car. You know, like you, you've done very well. Yeah, yeah. Well, things have, yeah. <laughs> things have been good with that. So and we'll cover that in another video. But today we're going to talk to you about some basic safety things that you should know around the shop. Mm -hmm. Sound good? It sounds great, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. You know, you always have such a neat shop. Well, and that's part of it, right, Steve? Oh, it's you know, uh, being organized and being clean, um, a lot of people don't. I hear people that have even seen pictures of my garage actually um, sort of make fun of it. Like, oh, that's not a garage. You don't work. And, you know, if it's not full of stuff everywhere, you know, you're not really, it's not a real garage. Sure. And that's not true, that's not uh, true. you know, firsthand. Right. We do some very in-depth stuff at Chips Garage. Right, right. You know, we weld, we fix things, we do motors, we do transmissions, we do suspension, we go, we do complete rebuilds. Sure, like yeah, GTX. yeah. But we clean up afterwards. We clean up afterwards, mm -hmm. we're organized, we keep our tools mm -hmm. put up, and it is important because it's safety. Safety. Right? Safety is number one. Safety, safety, safety. Number one, no matter what you do. So we're going to point out some of those right. things. Come on, All Steve. Right. You know, I know she always had three feet or better. It's a great point. We always try to keep, try, it's not always possible, but we try to keep, and you'll notice throughout the garage, we keep a three foot minimum between everything. Now, not only is that safety, right? You don't run into things, no, 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 no. but you also don't yeah. scratch your like health care. Carrying something through and you got yeah, two inches yeah. going through there. You yeah. go kind of the limbo yeah, and all that yeah, little yeah, dance yeah. through there, you know? <laughs> right, there goes the hell cat. Right. Yeah, yeah, then you scratch the hell cat. Yeah. How are you going to tell Chip about yeah, that? Yeah, you're going to tell Chip <laughs> about that. No, no, I don't want to tell Chip. <laughs> So anyway, keeping the spaces in between everything is very, very important. And what if something happened? What if an accident happened and somebody got hurt? Right, right. And you had to move quickly, right? right to right. address. You don't want to be running into things, tripping over things, whatever the case may be. So oh, I've been in garages trip over transmissions, engines, oh, and his much this much room to get to. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, yeah. Like every day, hey, I hurt I'll myself. Clean it next week. I'll clean it next uh, week. Yeah, yeah, at my yeah. age, I hurt myself doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> This is great. Uh, this is great. Now, one thing we wanted to bring up is, uh, if you look in here, I wanted to show you, um, it's very, very important to have a, a safety kit. Very and this important. is a garage safety qui uh, kit. There's different sizes and different ones for different things. But you want to have a good... Uh, first aid kit that can take care of at least the minimum things that will happen in a garage. Very important, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, water is oh, extremely important, especially here in Florida. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to dehydrate yourself. Right. It's, and I think in every garage, you know, I have friends in Pennsylvania and different yeah, states, and, and it gets hotter up there yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but yeah. you're right. It's not that expensive to buy a cheap, yeah. uh, you know, small refrigerator and keep cool drinks in all the yeah. time. And if somebody, Gatorade, water is if best. somebody did get dehydrated or, or, you know, started to act funny for yeah. whatever yeah. reason, you could get them cool water, get them to lay down, yeah. 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 rest for a little bit. And while you bring that up, a fan. A fan. You know, some people don't think about it. And heaters, by the way. Yeah. I know during the winter. During the winter, oh. Yeah, I it keep, gets cold here. It gets cold here. People cold. don't realize. But I keep a heater it's on below 50. that I keep in front of my duster so that, you know, because you can sure. run water through your radiator when you drag race. It's, a, you know, yeah. it's one of the laws of, of doing it, or rules, if you will. So I keep a heater in front of the radiator on the duster, but it also, of course, heats the garage. Yeah, so, but having a fan, very important. You can cool down again. Many times I come over here, turn this thing on, and just stay now, in front of now, it. Now, today is a really nice day here. Today is a nice, nice day. day. It's, it's, it's starting really to cool down a little bit. Yeah. Now, we've mentioned it before, air conditioners. Not everybody can afford them. The, these split units that they call them, mini splits, um, 
They're not that expensive no. to get, and I have two, one on this side, one on that side, and they, believe it or not, cool this whole garage oh. very, very well. Or a, a little window unit I've seen in there, you can buy 50 to $250. Right. Yep, yeah. even, even cheaper yeah. than that yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I got one in my office yeah. I bought for $50. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you go. and uh, anything to help keep you cool down, that kind of things. And I know a lot of you hardcore old guys are gonna say, oh, you gotta rough it through, but that's, that's sort of like, uh, yeah, you, you yeah. know, have your garage messy and it's okay, I'll put it up tomorrow, right? right. It, look, it's better to not overheat. <laughs> I think it's, we paid our dues for yeah, the past. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell you stories of the past. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to get into that. We're going to do yeah, a video yeah. on stories of the past, but where we did dumb things yeah. and we didn't organize and we did overheat and yeah. all those kind of things, right? We did some real, all of us did, so. But safety, safety, safety. Look, we're old enough now that one, we, we're wiser, we know, right? Mm -hmm. and, and two is, man, you gotta take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I wanna enjoy the shop, yeah. I wanna work on cars, I wanna enjoy my car, so I don't wanna be hurt, right? right? Or somebody else get hurt in my shop, yeah. I would feel terrible. Yeah. 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 And you look around, everything's so organized here, Chip. Yeah. I just love how you have all your waxes and all your materials and all your car clean, and you have it all perfect. You know, where you could just go right to it. Right. And that's where uh, you should have. These shelves are very inexpensive and they're stainless. They're beautiful shelves. Right. I have a couple myself. Yep. And uh, rags, everything. You can never have right. enough rags. And again, as it even relates to safety, being able to find stuff, making sure you grab the right things. If you have somebody helping you and you, right. you want them to go get it yeah. for you, it's yeah. easier. Yeah. Hey, it's on yeah. the first yeah. shelf. Yeah. Third, yeah. Yeah. Or the first yeah. rack's third shelf down, those kind of things. Right next to the SRT emblem. Right next to the SRT, yeah. there you go. <laughs> In the one-way <laughs> sign. Uh, oh. Now, something that Steve brought up earlier was, you notice we put like a cover on the end of this because it sticks out. And, th and this is actually padded, and we put this over it. And, and uh, this here, this is very, very sharp. Right. And if you tripped and fell on it, you can cut your head open or anything else. Oh, absolutely. So we always cover everything up. In, in real life, in a garage, like if you're in a commercial garage, they'd mark it with red. Right. Or put something around it. Right. But we, this is not a high traffic area. So, no. But we do take every expense to uh, cover everything. Uh, absolutely. And, and, and safety is my number one in me and teaching yep. for 20 years now. Safety, safety, safety. But again, it should be with everybody everything. in every everything. shop. And even yep. if you've got a little one car garage at your house, yep. safety yep. be your, even more important right to be your. Look at it, he has this tucked in, everything's there, and it's over three feet. There's exactly. Like five feet there. Yeah, and that's a great point, and you'll see it, we'll show you over in another area. Look how everything is tight, and out of the way, it keeps people sure. away from this, and it also utilizes your space very well, but nobody's going to trip or hit. This thing, this engine uh, uh, hoist is very bulky yes, and big, very, very. and the legs stick way out, and you could easily trip or get oh, hurt on this. Especially, easily. and we're talk, We're going to talk about your... your uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Because I, mine, I have slip-ons, right, and if I... Right. Hit that right there. I'm gonna cut my foot. Up. Steve, Steve was being lazy this morning, yeah. so he got here late yeah, and he slobbered sure. around. But, 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 you know, I'm messing with you. Yeah, yeah. This is how you should dress if you're gonna work in a garage or even long sleeves, sure. depending on what you're doing and where you're at. But I want to point it out. Notice that I have my shirt tucked in. You don't want your shirt tail like to get it. caught like in a, a piece of machinery. Yeah. It could get caught in a fan. It could get caught in a lot Family of things. Going around. Absolutely, yeah. people don't realize. Um, I've got a belt on. I've got long pants on, jeans with um, steel-toed shoes. Sure. And another thing, take your yeah. jewelry off. Right. Oh. If you're going to work on a car or you're going to work with machinery. Anything can grab bracelets, rings, necklaces. Short story. Take them short off. Story. Short story. I saw a guy once go from negative positive. And oh, it's gold. Gold is a beautiful conductor. Right. And he almost sizzled his finger off. It turned red. I actually did that to myself. Not to that degree. It barely yeah. like a bear's right, app, right, right. but it left a mark. Yeah. And yeah. All that gold hanging down can oh, catch something. Oh, yeah. The grinder. Oh, yeah. Oh. It could choke you, yeah. all kinds of things. And again, your clothing, it should be fairly right. tight. And that's perfect for welding, for right. under a car. Right. Yeah, again, for welding, I'd probably have a long yeah. sleeve shirt on. Yeah. You might adjust. Have in a garage, have a change of clothes. You know? Good point. You know, and then you can wash yourself off yeah. and change your clothes. And you can go out and get a little. Yeah, and we have, you know, and, and I know everybody can't afford this, but if you can, it's nice to have a shower in your bathroom. Sure. Because sure. what is also, 
you know, uh, you acid. have a, an accident where like radiator fluid goes all over you, right? Or acid or right. Fluid, Anything yes. can happen. Caustic, so, yeah. so you can go wash sure. immediately. Yeah. And they tell you to yeah. do that yeah. if right you know, something gets in your eyes or your face or even burns on your skin, immediately wash it. So if you don't have a shower, you can have a hose outside. I put a hose right. on either right. end right. of the garage right. 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 on the outside so that you had access to water wherever you went. Now, I have MSDS sheets, uh, material oh, yeah, 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 safety yeah. sheets. That's a great and, point. And, you know, uh, in a garage like this, I think we should set that up and have some sheets. So, you know what? You're right. You know, yeah. chemical burns. Yeah, and yeah. Like and that, and so. according to OSHA, they OSHA. really want you to have that. Now, that's for more business. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to do it personal. But you are right because those sheets tell you about yes. the chemicals. They tell you about how to take care yeah. of things yeah. if, if something happens with the chemicals. So again, very, very, very important. Very important. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, Steve. And what about the trash bags? We were talking about the trash bags. Now, this is a heavy duty contractor bag. Well, you know, you see that guy in a commercial with the cheap bags or the good bags. He yeah. picks it up and it goes all over the ground, you know, and now he has to sit there and pick it up and get it in two bags, three bags together. But you want something very heavy duty. Because right. you know, you have you can have oil in there and whatever. That's right. Know? Yeah, yeah, no. Well, you put everything in right. there, all your trash, and like you said, even food, though food, food and beer water, bottles, yeah, you see in the pan, not your garage, but other garages. No, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, it creates rodents, right? And right. Rodents and bugs, bugs. Yeah. And so this is this is a nice antique drum, and you put it in there, and you just take it out, put it in your trash can. That's right. Done. Put another one in. Put a, yeah. a little bit of bang done. Yeah, because even though you empty your oil containers and those kind of things out, there's still going to be some residue. Yes. So even for the environment, not just safety, sure, right? You don't want to be dripping oil across the floor, those kind of things. Um, use them. It keeps everything safe. I tie them up real tight, yeah. throw them away in the proper places. So, Steve, I know you love the floors, so uh, why don't you talk about it for a second? Because oh, it is a safety thing. Every well. time I come in here, I just love these floors. And as you can look at the floors here, they're all really nice. This is very, very easy to do. I've done this several of them. Uh, there's a procedure how to do it. Uh, you just get the kit from a supply store and you just follow the directions and you can do this very inexpensively, this floor. Um, I really like it because you have the sparkles and the speckles in it and you have clear on it. And again, let's yeah, show a demonstration. I, I want to show people this because I've talked about it before. So this is transmission fluid, right? Right. So very oily, very greasy for obvious reasons, right? To lubricate your automatic transmissions. But I want to show you what the kind of floor this is, how easy right. this cleans up. I want you to get very close right there. You cannot see any no. residue. I didn't have to use a chemical. No. I didn't have to use anything. No. It is not slippy. No. You can't feel it at all. And so the floors are very Now, if you went outside to the concrete, the concrete is porous. You're going to pour that on here. It's going to leave a spot. Right. And and that's what these floors were. Yeah, they before were. Before we put covering right. on right. they were right. porous concrete. And what's nice is you have it for expansion joints. Right. You could right. do a section at a time. That's correct. You, know, you could do this section, this right. section. Yeah. And Here's another thing. Cleaning. Yeah. I basically use like a yard blower, like a leaf blower. Yeah. And I just blow the whole thing out when it gets dirty and it's very easy to clean. You about one of those one machines that go around by itself? Yeah. <laughs> you sit on your couch with the remote control and let it go around. Or I can hire one of those. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and its tools are all organized. Yeah. You know, that's a big thing. It, go into drawers yeah. and you got all your wrenches, all your sockets, all everything. And that's for uh, racing, for a mechanic, for home use, anything. I hate going into a drawer and pull it out and there's 10 hundred million different tools there. Oh, it's right. in there. Right, right. Yeah, right. where? Yeah, well, it's sort of like the shelves, like we talked about. Even if I want somebody to run and get something for me sure. quickly, maybe maybe I release something and I'm having to hold it. It happens yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And hey, grab me the 916th yeah. box bin, you know? Uh, right, yeah, right, 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 yeah. yeah. And you can tell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can go directly to my yeah. box bin wrenches, there right? Is. Here they are. They if you are. look in here they real are. quick. Um, you can see all the wrenches are organized. I got my crescent wrenches over here, my different sizes here. But the point is, I knew where they were at. Yep. Yep. I could yep. say, Steve, go in the third drawer down yep. from the top yep. and grab me that yep. wrench. Yep. So it does make a difference. Oh, yeah. And then uh, how he has his grinder here on the bench, uh, he has the safety guards. This is one thing OSHA is very, very oh, adamant geez. about safety guards on everything. And you want to keep these safety guards. I see people taking them off. 
These are like little projectiles. They come off and That's hit you right. right here. Yep. Yeah, they fly off when you're grinding, depending on how hard you're grinding, what you're grinding right. off. Right. They literally, pieces come off, right? Or I've seen pieces come off Absolutely. the trunk off this. Absolutely. That's not a pretty sight. It hurts. Yeah. And not only for your eyes and those kind of things, also your hands. Hands. You know, because if you're working with something right, you can keep your hands up at it away. You can adjust sure. these. Sure. So, great point. Very, very important. Um, we do have in here, and we use kitty litter, uh, doesn't matter what the uh, name of it is, but um, that is to clean any major oil major. drips or spots. Like rear end fluid is really thick. Exactly. And you yeah. need something like a, a kitty litter or a uh, Again, litter. it comes off the floor very easy, but sometimes you get a bigger yeah. puddle. And right? it's this real thick happens. and you want something absorbent. But the kitty litter is a lot cheaper. Yeah. So that's yeah. why we use and it. And you put it in a plastic bag separate in the garbage and then you dispose of it. That's right. That's right, very good, yep. We've got, you'll notice, uh, oil drip pans, uh, obviously to keep oils and things from dripping on the floor and you never want them to go to the outside. Uh, Steve has mentioned this before. Blocks, they want you blocks. to cover it, Steve, because I uh, you know, it uh, Right here, uh, blocks, these are so good to have. There's different sizes and shapes, uh, you know, like, like right here, see this here? We, uh, this is something we'll talk about in a few minutes, but we put a block up right here because sometimes this is not long enough. But you want a good uh, pressure treated is better. Uh, you don't want right. something that's been outside. You want something that's dry so it doesn't crush on you. Yeah. And as you see, uh, actually, it, it's a little bit softer, so you don't, you know, hurt something under under a vehicle. Right. And this one is cut, so if you use them a lot of times, and it's smart. When you have a vehicle on the ground, you have a four-speed sure. vehicle, you're working on the transmission, you pulled the drive shaft, put it right up. you, you put them under the wheels, and that's why that's cut. So keep it from right. rolling back, it rolling will be back. on the ground like that. Right. And it's cut like that. So you'll find there's just a million uses for them, and a lot of them are actually safety-related yeah. yeah. uses. So yeah. holding things when you're working on it or putting or a, a two-by-four in between. Hammering on put a piece of metal and hammer it. It's Great soft. Point. It's soft. And you, can, you know, soft enough where you could also say if you had something up here and you didn't have anything else and you wanted to hit it. It's soft where it's not going to ah, great hurt point. bolts. We do that a lot. He's got a great You got to use what you got to use. Yeah, that's, that's right. It. Just everything in the toolbox. Huh? Yep. Oh, that's oh. right. Now, you mentioned about the lift, and let's just cover this for yeah. a minute. We won't go into great detail, but I want to I want to tell you some basic things about safely using a lift. When you go to put the car on the lift, the first thing you want to do is check where you're going to mount it. Now, yeah. Here is our manual. You don't have to come over here. I'll just show you, but we keep it here. And this is our lift manual. It's the frame engaging lift points. And you can go through by vehicle. And read it. And it, yeah, read it. But it, it literally shows you the safest place to put your lift arms up underneath your vehicle. So always double check that. Now, Steve, you were mentioned earlier, and I'm trying to get and, and, and Come on over yeah. here, Chip. I can see it right here, Chip. Here you go. Uh, these are pinch welds, okay? You do not want to jack up on here. Now, the new cars don't have this, they have plastic, and there's, a, on brand new cars, newer cars, they have a pad under here. Right. That's where you want to, like my, uh, the Hell Kitty has a, a right. hard rubber and a pad. Uh, and again, the manual will show yeah, you where those are you. at. Now, this car has, uh, it's full frame now, but it right. did have a subframe with metal, okay? Right. Uh, the very, very, you have to be very careful because up north when I used to live up there, you jack these cars up and I've seen uh, pictures where this went right up through here because it's mm -hmm. all rusted out. So you have to be very careful jacking cars up. I, I've seen I've, foot and half. I've seen floors like bent, yeah, bent looped yes, all the way up yeah, inside yeah. the car. But you see how the arms, you don't want the arms extended way out. Uh, you don't want them, uh, you, don't, you want them positioned just right and you want the car positioned right. just right. Also, you have these here. The reason why is you're working under a car you're not going to sit there and it's not going to go anywhere. Right. We have one in the back and one in the front. Every time we put a car on a lift and it's where we want it, and you can adjust the height accordingly, we put these one under the front, one under the right. back. You've right. got your arms coming right. in from the side. This car is going right. nowhere. Right. Now, one other point real quick is when I put my arms on a car, when I first put it on, I lift it up about a foot off the ground, where the tires right. are a foot off the ground, and I check... I go forward and back and I right. check the bumpers and I make sure that it's equally balanced front and back. And you can check it before you ever put it up in the air. So go ahead. Hey, two words, cheap insurance. Cheap insurance, oh man. So we got other other uh, <laughs> items around here, as you see, our welders, uh, our jack stands, our uh, cleaning solution. 
Yep. Uh, notice, biodegradable. Yeah, notice this has been closed and you want to do that for a lot of different safety reasons. Always keep it closed when you're not, but we use a biodegradable uh, cleaning fluid in this now as opposed to the old stuff, which again, which is much safer. So I know we're running out of time, Steve. I think so, we covered a really good well, we, part. Of, I <laughs> we, think, yeah. we covered a lot, but there's so much to cover in safety. And the we can point, talk more about it later. We got, we, we got we, plenty of shows coming. Yeah, yeah, we will. We got lots Please, of shows coming tuned. for you guys. Stay tuned. Yeah, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Uh, yeah, follow us on um, on you know uh, Facebook. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube and Facebook yeah. and well, I'm Chip and I'm Steve and this, this is Chip's, Chip's Garage. Garage.